Hey. Layluha kanaharihha. The nights of it is like it's day. None will deviate from it. La yazi'u anha illa halik. None will deviate from it except the one that is destroyed. Clear. What the Prophet left us, left us with was very clear. When the people start bringing their own agendas, their own issues, this is when, barakallahu feekum, the inhiraf start happening. This is when the people start going, yani, deviated from the path. So, Shaykh Muhammad Aman, rahimahullah, he say, he say, after these things, meaning Allah Ta'ala sending prophets and revealing books, and the clarification coming from the prophets and his, and his atba', his sahaba, he say, that there is no hujjah, there is no argument, there is no excuse for the people with Allah, in front of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. And Shaykh Hafizahullah, he say, Huna lana waqfun. He say, we have to make a stop in here. He say, وَهَلْ إِرْسَالِ الرُّسُلُ وَإِنْزَالِ الْكُتُبُ إِنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ هُنَاكَ بَيَانٌ أَوْ حَالُ بَيِّنٌ بَعْدَ النَّاسِ وَبَيْنَ هَذِهِ الْحُجَّةِ حُجَّةٌ لِلَّهِ فِي الْأَرْضِ كِتَابُ اللَّهِ وَسُنَّةِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ He say, إِنْ وَجَدْتُ شُبْهَةُ حَالَتْ بَيْنَهُمْ وَبَيْنَ فَهْمِ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ He say, أَوْ بِعِبَارَةِ الْأُخْرَى بَيْنَهُمْ وَبَيْنَ فَهْمِ مَا جَاءَ بِهِ الرُّسُلِ صَلَّى اللَّهِ سَلَّمْ هَلْ يَعْذُرُونَ أَمْ لَا Now here is a very good question that the Shaykh ask. He say, if, he say, هَلْ إِرْسَالِ الرُّسُلِ it is the sending of the prophets and the, the, the revelation of the books. In lam yakun hunaka bayan. If there is some type of things that are not clear, some things that are not clear, or, or a situation of things not being clear for some of the people. Or a situation of not being upon clarity for some of the people. Tayyip. This does that mean that the hujjah is still established? Meaning the argument or the excuse is still established? Or that the people they will be excused from not having the correct understanding? Or the people will be excused. هَلْ يَعْذُرُونَ أَمْ لَا Will they be excused for not having the proper understanding? Because the, whether the situation was not clear to them or not. The Shaykh Hafizahullah, he say, he say, وَأَنزَلْنَا And this is the statement of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَى وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَى لِتُبَيِّنُ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ Here also is a verse to prove that the sunnah is a revelation. Just like the Quran is a revelation. Allah Tabarak Ta'ala, He say, وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَى We have sent down unto you that which is the reminder. We have sent unto you the reminder. Meaning what? The sunnah. The sunnah. We have sent down unto you the reminder. The reminder, ayy the sunnah. For what? لِتُبَيِّنَ لَامُ الْعِلَّةِ لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ So you can clarify to the people. You can clarify to the people what was revealed unto them. Meaning the Quran. So Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, He revealed the Sunnah to the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam. To do what? To clarify for us what was being revealed unto us, which is the book of Allah, the Quran. So the Quran come to what? To clarify, little bayina. So you can clarify in detail what was being sent unto the, unto the people. The Sunnah. Of the Prophet ﷺ. So the Sunnah clarifies what? The book of Allah. Wa ta the Sunnah details the, 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 
the Quran, the book of Allah Ta'ala. No, the, the book of Allah is the speech of Allah, which was sent. So it was sent for clarification what message was sent to us. That's, did you just say that earlier? No, meaning that the book of Allah, the Sunnah, was sent, was revealed unto the Prophet والسلام, to clarify and detail that which is what? The book of Allah, the Quran. So the Sunnah clarifies the Quran. The Sunnah details the matters that are and he left to general in the Quran. That's what the Sunnah will do. Are you well? Huh? I'll bring it to you after that. He say here, he mentioned Shay Muhammad Aman he say to bayina to clarify La Buddha min al Bayan. What he's trying to say is that that it must be Clarification and clarity. It's impossible not to be upon clarity. Why? Because this is what the verse say. So the sunnah was revealed. So to clarify what was revealed unto the meaning of the Quran. So he say, La Buddha min al bayan. It, no one can be saying what well, there is ambiguity in here or there is matters that are not understood properly. Why? Because the sunnah clarifies it. The sunnah clarifies the book of Allah. So he mentioned Hafidahullah. He said, La Buddha min al Bayani. It is a must to have that which is the clarification. It is a must to have the clarification. He said, He said, Ida, Idan, Baina Nasi. He said, Yes, perhaps between the people. Wa Baina Fahmi Dalika Bayanun. He said, Yes, between the understanding of the people and the correct understanding of what was coming from the Sunnah. Yes, it could be it could be a, a margin, it could be a gap, it could be a distance between those two. How the people understand and how did the revelation come to make us understand this? That's why you find when a lot of time when a person barakallah fikum he will what rationalize these things. He will understand it this way while the reality of the verse is another way. Why the verse was being detailed by the messenger or was detailed by the companions of the Messenger Ali Salatu Wasalam in another way. But yeah. So yes, sometimes you find individuals, let's say, you find people that believe that the Mizan is what? It's a metaphor. It's not something that is haqiqi. They believe that the Mizan, meaning the scales, it is not real, it's not tangible. But rather for them, it is a concept of justice only. But here the Sahaba, they understood what? That the mizan was what? Was haqiqatan, was, was tangible. You can put your hands on it. It is something that exists. Now look at these rationalists from what they believe and what is the bayan that has been established by the Messenger والسلام, when he talked about the legs of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu saying that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu will be waiting Tayyip, more than the amount of Uhud, his legs. The legs. He didn't say the, the, the whole body. He didn't say the whole body, he said the legs. Also in another narration where a person that is a heavy set person will be placed on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the scales and he will not wait. He will not wait the mass of a what? Of a fly, of a? Of a, the wing. Uh, yeah, the, the the wing of a uh, the wing of a, of a a fly. He will not weigh the, the, the mass of a of, of the wing of a mosquito of, of a fly. But look, this individual he is. You put on the scale, he might be what, maybe four hundred pounds or whatnot. not. he will not weigh what, not even the, you know, the ounces that a a a. a, a a fly, a wing of a fly will, will, will have. So that to show Barakallah Fikum, will the people be excused for that? Will they be excused for that? And this is exactly what the Shaykh Hafizahu Rahimahullah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is expounding upon this matter. He mentioned Hafizahu Allah, I mean Rahimahullah. He said, This is why. You have at the time 
of the Abbasiyin, meaning those who were upon the dynasty of the Abbasi, ila ahdina, all the way to our time. And this is the time where as the rhetoric start, you know, the new age of the rhetoric, the new age of the falsafa, where people, they tend to, you know, bring about philosophy, right? The philosophy of the ancient Greeks, that they want to tend to bring it in regard to making a comparison of the religion or comparison of the text in regard to the religion. Now they are taking their aql, that's what we call the aqlaniyun, they will take their aql and they want to compare with what? With the text, while the bayat is already there. The matter is already clear, as Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu has mentioned. And he say, after that, ثُمَّ دَخَلَتْ التَّصَوُّفِ and after the matter that was clear, the deen was clear. Now people came from different horizons, from different backgrounds, from different concepts. They start adding it to the religion. He said from the Abbasiyin all the way to the Ahd of the Tasawwuf, the people of Sufiya. Where they come and they bring about matters from their own aql, from their own perception and from their own intellect. Is it from the religion of Islam? Is it from that which is the clar clarification that the Prophet left with the companion? It is not. It is not. If you take their actions or you take their belief, it is in a whole of a contradiction with what was the belief of the Prophet and what was the actions of the Sahaba. The list is, is long in regard to if you want to make, if you want to you know, give examples. For instance, believing that Allah is everywhere. This was not the belief of the Prophet. But rather this was not, this was something that the Prophet taught the companions. From young and old. From male and female. Even those who were the slaves, they had what? They had the belief that Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, he is what? Above the seven heavens. But here comes the Sufi, they believe in what? Al-Hulul. They believe that Allah is what? Mixed with his, his creation. They believe in what you call al-wahdatutul wujud. The unison of existence that Allah is everything and everything is Allah. Is that belief foreign to, uh, to, the, to, to the Sahaba? Yes, it is. Just like when you take their actions. So after that, that, that bayan came, now you have people start bringing about matters in the religion that is not part of it. From their actions is that celebrating of the mawlud. From their actions is to be going to places, traveling to places. And they are intending what? They are intending an act of worship, seeking nearness with Allah. Was that known to the companions at that time? No, it was not. Or taking landmarks, right? Taking Athar al-Anbiya, landmarks of the prophets and messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, and taking it as the pl a place of Eid, as a place of celebration. Was it known at the time of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam that they used to go to the Qar Ira? Would they? Did they take the day of the conquest of Mecca as a day of celebration? No, they did not. But you find the people of Tasawwuf, they have introduced these things after the clarification was brought. So are the people excused for not having the proper understanding? No, they won't. Because the bayina and the bayan is already there. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And this is how where the extreme is going. Now the person, as you know, him, him, the brother mentioned, Hafizahullah, and the person will, will not eat in, 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 in congregation. He will not eat in congregation. Why? Because eating is what? For him it is what? It's deficiency. And you know what is really deficiency? Not eating. Eating, eating is barakallah fikum sifatul kamal for the human being. Eating is a characteristic of completeness for the, for the human being. If barakallah fikum, a person has a baby that didn't eat for a day or two, what's going to happen? 
No, they're going to take him to the hospital. Okay, don't be too harsh, man. 